More elephants, more elephants. I'm so excited. I said to VM as we were driving, we saw all these footprints and the tiniest little elephant uh, dung you've ever seen, probably from that one that's just moving off into the distance now. And I said, we have to bump into them because they are so, so fresh tracks, such fresh dung. And now they're coming for a drink. And hopefully I'll be able to go around to the other side of the dam. I'm just obscured at the... Oh, not obscured. Um, we've got one big elephant cow that's decided that she doesn't want to move. She's just going to stand there and pretend to feed and watch us. And they've had a mud bath already. They've obviously been in a smaller pan, splashed about. And on hot days like this, elephants will drink a number of times. They're not, they won't pass water and just sort of say no. They know that they might not have another sip for quite some time. So they make sure that they get as much as they can. Come on, girl, please move away. Move towards the water so we can go around and have a look. I was really hoping some of those little ones were going to go right into the middle of the dam. And, and they may still. They must, may still go and do that. As you can see, she's, yeah, she, she's sort of just pretending to feed. She's putting a little bit of food into her mouth. And she's a big girl, but she's keeping a very, very close eye on us. There we go. Now she's settling down again. That's better. And often elephant bulls will do that, is they sort of pretend to feed. And then before you know it, they're standing right next to your vehicle going, Hello, <laughs> I'm not actually too happy with you. But she seems to have calmed down now. But the rest of the herd's very relaxed. They don't seem to mind us at, at all. They're having sips of water. And we've got a lovely rear view of what's happening. And we're at three in a row pan, just in case you were wondering. <laughs> if you watch this Ellie now, it's, it's quite interesting what she's doing. So you can see she's swatting. Not only she's trying to get the sand off, she's actually using that piece of shrub as a fly swatter. And it's so funny because it reminds me of Herbie. Every time after a walk, Herbie breaks a guari branch and he starts smacking himself with it on his legs just to try and get rid of some of the ticks, all the little pepper ticks that we'd walk through. And it's amazing how they're able to do that as well. Now, as we look at them feeding, drinking, Doe and Winnie, you're wondering if elephants eat all types of different grass. They do indeed, and it's not just restricted to grass, though at this time of the year, when it is available, it is their favorite thing to feed upon. And they are predominantly grazers, but as you know, the grass is often the first thing to disappear when you're out in the bush, especially around these watering holes. It doesn't seem to last for too long. And then they have to move on to other things, leaves, bulbs, fruit, like all the marulas you've seen in their dung at the moment. And then as that water starts to disappear and the vegetation gets more and more harsh, they'll even you know, resort to feeding on bark on the trees. Not their favorite, but they sort of have to, and we see them doing it in the winter months when it is dry. But now you won't see too many elephants pulling the bark off of trees. Come on, girl, I'm just desperately waiting for this Ellie cow to move out of the way so that we can go and watch them. She's got, she doesn't want to move for us. Come on, girl, be kind, please. We just want to admire how beautiful you all are. And maybe if you go stand there and splash yourself with some mud, you won't have the flies bothering you so much. Now, Tris states, uh, you were asking on this fine summer's day, no, I've completely forgotten what you were asking. Why do I do this every time about to say it? And then, as the words are coming out of my mouth, the words, the words just disappear completely. How terrible of me. Sorry, you were asking, uh, do they eat mud for minerals? They do, they do indeed, and it's known as geophagy. I often see them, I've seen uh, rhinos and things, and even elephants, young elephant calves, actually mouthing on termite mounds. Um, but they will, they'll put a bit of mud into their mouth. I don't think it's too tasty, but especially in the harsher conditions, maybe there's some nutrients that they are lacking. VM, should we try and very quickly sneak around and see if we can get a view from the other side of the dam? Let's see what they're going to do. I'm just going to sneak along over here. There's one Ellie going in now, and I'd love it if we could get the sun on our side and have a, a decent look. Oh, there's a couple of little 
little holes here. I'm just, just giving him a little bit of a distance, but we're just gonna go on the other side of this dam. Here we go, this is beautiful now. Hi guys. Yes, that's much better. There we go. And you can actually see how deep the water is now. That's quite nice. I was always wondering how deep this dam gets, and it's lovely. I don't think as deep as these elephants would like it so that they could swim around. But for... <laughs> Careful not to splash that water too hard. We've got to save it. Oops. <laughs> and you can also see now that elephant dung floats. <laughs> oh, no. That's terrible. Well, this is also one of the reasons why you wouldn't want to go swimming in some of these dams. Okay, she's just... No. <laughs> it's like she wasn't enjoying it. Now she's chasing it away. Get away, you dung. Get out of my water. <laughs> Look, that's so funny. I don't think she's actually doing that. She's just enjoying splashing about. Oh, lovely. Thank you for that, Madam Elephant. You made me have a good chuckle this morning. Very quick swim, not wasting too much time. I really thought that the rest of them were gonna go in. That one, the little one didn't even have a roll around. Listen, if I was an elephant, every single time I'd pass the water, I would go and... <laughs> a little floating bobbly bits. <laughs> I would go into the water and roll around as often as I could. Well, that, was, that was very funny. And off they go to the next one. Let's follow them for a little bit. This is lovely. So there's one more pan. I don't know if they're going to go past it or if they're going to stop and perhaps have a little play around in there. But we're going to keep following them. I'm going to send you off to Steph. And, well, I wonder if he's got any more creepy crawlies to show you.